Hey folks, welcome back to My Kitten Reads. I'm Eleanor, and this is my very, very quick uh, March book haul. Um, sorry it's a bit late, I wasn't feeling particularly well on the weekend. But anyway, enough of that. Um, yeah, so March book haul should be pretty quick because I didn't acquire many books. I acquired two books in subscription boxes. So these were Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston which was in Alcrate, that's the Alcrate exclusive cover, and Kylie Chan's Scales of Empire. So um, these are both science fiction books. Um, this one in particular is YA. Um, yeah, and you can see more about those in my various unboxing videos, but those were those two books. And then I only actually bought two books. So I, I thought that was doing pretty well for myself. So I bought a new anthology. Uh, this is Robots vs. Fairies and it is edited by Dominic Parisian and Nalva Wolf. Um, they're the same editing team that did A Starlit Wood a couple of years ago, which I really, really loved. Um, I've heard a little bit about this because uh, Fangirl Happy Hour podcast is reading it story by story and it's really why I picked it up, So, although I'll probably absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, basically half the stories are about robots and half of them are about fairies and the idea is a death match between the two of them. So who do you like best? Do you like fairies or do you like robots? And it's got all sorts of really awesome author authors like uh, Shauna Maguire, Catherine M. Valenti, Alyssa Wong, um, Max Gladstone, Jim C. Hines, Kat Howard, Mary Robinette Kowal. So a whole heap of really awesome authors. Um, and yeah, so I'm hoping I should probably try and pick this up soon and at least start it. Because, like I said, I have podcasts to listen to that talk about the stories. So that's Robots vs. Fairies. And the other thing that I bought in March was Binti the Night Masquerade by Nadia Crawford. This is another of the Tor.com novellas. Um, and it is the third and I think the last in the Binti series. So there was Binti that came out a few years ago, which I also have in hard copy. There was Binti Home, which I ended up borrowing from the library, which is the sequel, which I read earlier this year. And then this Binti Night... The Night Masquerade follows on directly from Binti Home. So Binti is the story of a girl who is the first of her people to go away to this university planet on it, you know, across the stars. There are certain she goes away without permission. Um, and things happen on her journey to the university involving an alien race that attacks that lead to her going through a lot of changes, her surviving a lot of trauma, and her becoming someone new. Um, and yeah, so like Binti Home and the, Binti the Night Masquerade are both set back on her own planet. In Binti Home, she has she's coming home for the first time, and she finds out new things about herself, and then some, there's a cliffhanger at the end. And so I'm really looking forward to picking up The Night Masquerade to find out what actually happens. But this particular series, it's very much about identity and what you know about yourself, what you know about your heritage, and what happens when you discover new things about yourself and new things about your heritage and how that can change a person. So it's really, really awesome and I really, really love it. So I definitely grabbed this as soon as I could. So yeah, that was my really, really quick March book haul. Uh, I'm really proud of myself for not buying too many books. Um, I'd say this month is going to be a bit more, but also not really spending money so far because audible credits. Anyway, but yes, so I will, I will leave it there and stop babbling. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you all again really soon. Bye.